And we start with a deadly shooting in Wilsonville. A gunman opened fire inside a packed business, shooting and killing a man before driving away. From Sky 8, you can see the crime tape at the business. The shooter led police on a chase, which ended in a Woodburn neighborhood. And the police officers had flak jackets on with weapons drawn, and they were running down the street. And this is just a little neighborhood, quiet. We don't have this kind of stuff going on. Whoa, very, very scary. Thanks for joining us today. I'm Brenda Braxton. We do want to show you this map because the shooting happened near Southwest Beckman and Boberg Roads. As I mentioned, the gunman drove to Woodburn and that is where he surrendered. Mike Benner is following the story for us. Mike, what else can you tell us? Well, Brenda, good afternoon to you. I can tell you that just within the last few minutes, we learned the name of the business where this deadly shooting happened. Let me step out of the way and give you a live look here at uh, Heritage Specialty Foods. The business off Boberg Road in Wilsonville is now surrounded uh, in crime tape. We can tell you that uh, the person who was killed was an employee of this business. At this point, we do not know how the shooter, the suspected shooter, is connected to this business. What we do know is his name, and we have uh, just received his picture. Let me go ahead and show you this. This is from the Clackamas County Sheriff's Office. The suspected shooter is identified as Camilo Santiago Santiago. He is 25 years old. Uh, we know that he was taken into custody in the Woodburn area. We have reason to believe that is where Santiago is from. Uh, we're told that uh, law enforcement spotted uh, his vehicle and they were looking for him and uh, they eventually took him into custody after uh, the SWAT team uh, was brought out and they had him cornered on what we are told was a dead end street. Again, uh, the suspect identified as Camilo Santiago Santiago, a 25 year old now in uh, the custody of the Clackamas County Sheriff's Office. Uh, we can tell you that the shooting happened just after 8.15 this morning. Uh, Santiago, we're told, walked into the business and shot and killed someone. Again, it's the Heritage Specialty Foods. Uh, one person killed, obviously uh, extremely tragic, but law enforcement uh, relieved that this didn't end far worse. Take a listen. We're, we're extremely fortunate that, that no one else was injured. Uh, none of the law enforcement that responded to this were injured. Um, you know, we're, I don't know what was going through the suspect's mind, but um, you know, we believe we already killed one person, and uh, so we're very fortunate. All right, back out here live in Wilsonville. Uh, within the last 15 to 20 minutes, a spokesperson for Heritage Specialty Foods released a statement. Uh, in part, it says that uh, the news of this senseless violence comes as a shock to all of us. We ask for this community's prayers and support for survivors and all of our team members during this time. Speaking of team members, we're told uh, at least 20 people were inside the business at the time of the shooting. Again, law enforcement relieved that this did not end much worse. We expect to learn more uh, in the coming hours, and we'll have the very latest on KGW News at 4 o'clock this afternoon. For now, Brenda, I'll send it back to you.